Right, you've had a taste of it. Now you've signed permanently for Newcastle United. What's your reaction? Nah, absolutely over the moon to uh, sign here permanently. Um, I had such an enjoyable loan spell. Um, the fans, the players, the staff, they, they've all uh, welcomed me. And uh, yeah, I, I really love my time here for sure. And I'm glad I've extended for another four years. We spoke to you on, on the pitch after the Arsenal game and you made it pretty clear what you wanted. What have the two to three weeks since then been like from your perspective? Yeah, uh, to be fair, I spoke with the manager just before the Burnley game and uh, he said he wanted to sign me. And then, um, so after the last game of the season, uh, it was a bit quiet for a, for, for a bit. And then uh, about a week ago, it started to uh, liven up. So uh, we've been back and forth and yeah, I'm just over the moon that it's, uh, we got it done. And how different does it feel to have signed for four years now as opposed to a kind of half a year loan deal like you did in January? Yeah, it's uh, it's it's nice. Um, when when you're on loan, you you want to set a, a good good impression with uh, performances, how you act off the pitch. Um, so I, I think I've done that, and uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the next four years. Did that loan spell go even better than maybe you expected it to? Yeah, for sure. Um, I think. Uh, with the results that we picked up, um, the, the, some of the performances, um, and just just in general, like even the, the group of players, it's a, it's a great bunch of lads, and uh, yeah, it's, it just made everything so much easier. I think you'd say yourself you're quite a quiet, shy person, but how much did those players help you to settle in, and how big was that for you in terms of what you were then able to deliver on the pitch? Yeah, I think uh, that's probably the best dressing room I've, I've, I've been in um, in terms of how many players make you feel welcome, how many players are, uh, that, are, that are leaders in that, in that dressing room. Um, so yeah, it was a, it was a massive part and uh, yeah, so a good, good group of uh, lads. And Eddie Howe, he put you straight into the team and he's spoken to us today, he said about the fantastic impact that, that you made last season. What's your relationship like with him and what's he like to play under? No, I was uh, I was actually really looking forward to coming um, when uh, Eddie Eddie was here. Um, I've I've heard uh, lots of good things uh, about him um, from previous players that have played under him. So uh, yeah, I was I was looking forward to getting here and working under him. And uh, yeah, it's, I've I've enjoyed every every minute of it. The supporters sung your name in the Arsenal game. I guess you've probably had a lot of messages on social media and stuff like that as well. What are they like to? play in front of and how big a factor were they in your decision to stay for longer? Yeah, massive. I think uh, just uh, the whole feel-good factor around the club at the moment. Um, and uh, when I come in, the atmosphere in the ground every match day, um, even uh, like during after training, there's, there's hundreds, hundreds of fans uh, waiting outside the training ground. So uh, yeah, it's a, it's a really intense city for for football for sure and uh, yeah I'm, I'm so happy to to be here. With the momentum that you kind of built up in the second half of last season how exciting is it to sign for Newcastle now? Yeah for sure I think uh, what we've done that second part of the season I think that leads into to the, to the start of next season um, everyone's got that feel good factor uh, I'm sure there'll be a few more signings too that will be will be exciting um, so yeah, the hard work starts starts for now for sure because um, um, we, we we really want to kick on and uh, get this club as high as possible. On a personal level, what do you want to achieve in the next four years or so? For me, I hope this I hope I could be a part of this club work playing in Europe. Um, I think uh, we can try and get into to, to Europe in the next few seasons. I think that would be a, a massive achievement and. Uh, I'm never. I'm not going to give up on the internationals uh, for England. So uh, I think that'll be uh, a main target for sure going forward. Yeah, we just saw Kevin Trippier last night become the first Newcastle player to be capped by England in six years or so. But working alongside him and, and seeing that, it must give you that little taste for it. Yeah, absolutely. I think. Uh, uh, I think. The previous season, I, I was close, um, so I, I want to 
kick on and uh, improve as a player and, and I'm sure I can, I can be an England international for sure. And you mentioned European football there, I mean with everything that is being put in place at the club now, does that feel tangible, does that feel realistic in, in that time frame now? Yeah, I think so. Um, I think uh, with a few few good signings, um, you you look at teams like uh, West Ham, uh, Wolves, Leicester. I think uh, that's that they're the clubs that you want to be aiming for. I think in this in this next season, well, next few seasons, and establish yourself as a, a top top half team, and then yeah, I think then and, and then kick on. So uh, for sure, that's a. a uh, target to work for, yeah. You just just coming off the back of a, a tough season, of course, have a bit of a holiday and stuff like that. But how much are you looking forward already to coming back for pre-season now with your new club? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, it's going to be an exciting, exciting summer, and uh, yeah, I can't wait for this the next season to start.